me, Ma. I can't take this anymore, Dante. All right, I never know where you are, where you're going to be, or you're going to just show up. What are you... Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. What's the matter with you? You look terrible. Talk to me. I, uh, I need your advice. What? Well, this case is probably going to be over very soon. I found a way to make it happen, but there's a catch. I'd have to put a son against his father. There you go. I'll do my best to listen without making any judgments. Oh, where to start? Well, Lucky Spencer knows I'm undercover. Come on. How did that happen? Uh, he caught me using the PCPD computer to find out more about that weird artist, Franco. It turns out I busted him when I was working. Oh, great. So, so not taking down the Corinthos organization just isn't quite enough for you? Look, I kept seeing this tag all over town, CO77X. I got curious. He caught me trying to find out more about this guy. You do know that Sonny and Luke have been dear friends for many, many years, right? Yeah. But that's not the father and son I'm talking about. Lucky thinks Michael knows who killed Claudia, and I agree. Michael definitely knows more than he's saying. So, so you're talking about Sonny and Michael? If Michael can prove Sonny killed Claudia, that's the last piece of evidence I'll need. But, and I never expected myself to be saying this, do I have the right to put Michael up against his own father? his father. I mean, he tries to be just like him, all cold and shut down. I heard the guys used to call him Little Sonny. Not in front of the boss, of course. The last thing Sonny wants is for his kids to be like him. Well, a parent would do anything to keep the kid from becoming a gangster. You know, Michael doesn't have Sonny's ice-cold focus, so he's a tough kid. I mean, he survived what would have killed most people, but he's impulsive. He takes things to heart. He attacks without thinking, and he tends to run away from so all his problems. we're talking about a 17-year-old kid, right? Michael's never had to fend for himself. Whatever he does, he believes Sonny can fix it. Because that's what Sonny's been telling that poor kid his entire life. Now, Michael pretends to have it all together when he's around Sonny, but you know, any decent cop could easily break him down. He wants to talk. He's right on the verge. But if he gives up evidence that could get Sonny put in prison, I mean, that kid would be destroyed. He already blames himself for everything that goes wrong. Sonny does the same thing. So what should I do? I mean, is making my case worth making a kid betray his own father? There is no good solution to this. At least not one that I'm able to see. I mean, you've been, you've been telling me ever since you got here that Sonny's brought all this down on himself and that those kids would be better off without their father. I still believe that, but who am I to give this kid more problems than he's already got? If he gives up evidence that hurts Sonny, he will believe he failed his father, and he will never forgive himself, even though Sonny would forgive him. Sonny would forgive his kids for anything. Um, the difference is Sonny knows the risks he's taking. He knows the consequences, how to deal with them. Michael has no idea. Well, I don't know. At least Michael's got Carly and Jax, I guess. I don't know. Again, I've seen that family operate. They love him, but uh, I don't think he fits in with them. You've gotten way too close to all these people. Yeah. Walking the beat in Staten Island sure sounds pretty good right now. I don't now. mean that. I wish like how you did, though. Oh. How do I live with myself, okay? If I set up Michael to betray his own father, on the other hand, how do I let Sonny get away with literal murder? You know what? It's like Ronnie's always telling me, I'm a cop. My job is to bust Sonny Corinthos, not to feel sorry for his family. It's got to be your call, baby. <laughs> it's not mine. Fear's just what I need, your opinion. Oh, I am so proud of you. You have learned every single thing that I tried to teach you when you were growing up. To be honest, to ask yourself the hard questions before you do anything that's going to hurt anybody else. 
So you're saying I shouldn't question Michael? I'm saying listen to your heart. You know, think about how everyone's going to be affected if Michael falls apart because of what he tells you. Is being a good cop really worth that? I don't know. I mean, isn't that what my job is? Well, then, what are you asking me for? Go ask another cop. If, if your heart tells you that it's wrong to use Michael against Sonny, then you got to find another way. Okay, that's my advice to you as your mother. Now, whatever you decide, you know that I'll support you any way I can. You always know what to say to me. Except you never listen. Oh. Michael is the silver bullet. I mean, if he can prove that Sonny killed Claudia, the whole Corinthos organization will just come crashing down. No one gets shot, no bloodshed, nobody getting whacked. I mean, there will be no more violence. Just one kid ruined for the rest of his life. Just like Lulu's told me before, nothing's just black and white. The difference between right and wrong can be pretty complicated. That's very true. But Sonny's a criminal. But he's a good father. He's great to his kids. Michael's the eldest. He's got a special place in his heart. Sonny does not want to see Michael suffer the way he will. If I get a chance to talk to him. No father wants to hurt their son. And no son wants to destroy their father. Hey, what, you can't check your messages anymore? You forgot how to text? I'm sorry, I've been busy. Doing what? Look, I, I want this bus as badly as you do, but I've already risked my life giving you plenty enough for a warrant. Well, the judge didn't see it that way. The truth is, if I push any harder, I might end up right next to Claudia Zakara. Which would be where? I'm working on it. Look, I know you're frustrated, okay? But we are so close on the Claudia Zakara murder. You've, you've given me a fragment of the bloody shirt that Sonny wore the night it happened, and a recording where Sonny comes so close to incriminating himself. All we need is one more good piece of evidence. I may have found a witness. This witness, do I need to get a subpoena? Uh, you know, Carly Jacks, she's got enough money to fight off a hundred subpoenas. That's true. Besides, the next wife never makes a good witness. Uh, there's got to be an easier way. Uh, maybe, maybe a housekeeper or or a guard who's having second thoughts. Uh, some of these people are way too loyal. What about one of the kids? Uh, maybe they overheard something in the house. Well, you, you think you're gonna get a warrant off some hearsay from a kid? No, and Sonny doesn't talk about business around the kids. So you're sure that the only witnesses of murder are Carly, Sam, and Jason? Unless you want to count Claudia. We'll find out where she's buried. Well, I, I don't think she's going to be able to say very much. We'll see what you can do. Because if we can't find a witness, we'll have to settle for a corpse. Hey, sorry for the delay. I just got your message. What's going on? The situation with Claudia just got more serious. Well, because of the cops? No, because of the, the whack job Franco is focused on Jason for whatever reason, and Jason's letting him get to him. And uh, I just need you to back Jason up. Okay. I need you to, you know, make sure Jason's doing what he needs to be done. I, I'm, I'm going to trust you on this. Don't mess up. I will not mess this up. Okay, what we want to do, we want to go cover our tracks, go to the Pine Barrens where the body was buried. Make sure no one's sniffing around out there. 